Welcome to this episode of Psych's Now Learning Hub, Introduction to LCMS Series. In this episode, we talk about how you can select the best precursor and fragment ions for your MRM quantitation method. We have already learned that a target compound is defined by its retention time, the precursor, and fragment ion mass. To get the best quality from your MRM quantitation method, you want to quantify your target molecule based on the most intense and most reliable precursor fragment ion pair. But how can we select the best combination of precursor and fragment ion? First, let's review aspects in choosing the optimal precursor ion. You need to clarify if the positive or negative ion mode gives you the most intense precursor and which ion type this could be. But the most intense precursor is not optimal unless it yields intense and distinct fragment ions. Let's discuss the selection of the best fragments for our MRM experiment with the help of this example the singly charged precursor of um over Z329 shows a variety of fragments with different intensities and um over Z ratios. Avoid selecting low mass fragment ions as many molecules can form them. The same applies for the loss of water or ammonia. These are two intense ions which are most likely good for quantitation. It is common practice that we choose two ions to serve as a so-called quantifier and qualifier. Based on the quantifier, you will build your calibration curve and calculate the unknown amounts of your target compound. The qualifier serves as a quality attribute for the quantifier. When reviewing the qualifier, it is important to know but the relative signal intensity of a qualifier and quantifier is always the same as long as the same fragmentation energy is applied. This relative signal intensity is usually expressed as ion ratio, which is the ratio of the signal intensities of the two ions. You can only rely on a quantitation based on a quantifier signal if the corresponding qualifier indicates the same ion ratio as expected and has an identical retention time. In conclusion, the purpose of a qualifier is to improve the selectivity of your quantitation method, as the identity of your quantifying fragment ion mass is further supported by its corresponding qualifier. So we can say that a target compound is defined by its retention time the precursor ion mass as well as the quantifier, and the qualifier fragment ion masses. Thank you for watching this episode. To view the full training course, including progress checks and a final quiz to earn a certificate, go to psyx.com. Log in today to take advantage of the highly rated training material offered in the Psyx Now Learning Hub. You can use the links below.